Good morning, lovely people, and welcome to a new class. I hope you're ready for a 30 minute practice. We're gonna work a little bit extra with our shoulders, chest, and shoulder blades today. All right, so let's get to it. Find a comfortable seated pose, crossing your ankles, find your sitting bones, and then from that, start the chest, lengthen through the spine, rolling the shoulders back and just resting your palms onto your knees. Close your eyes, deep breaths in through your nose, long breaths out through your nose. And continue to focus on your breath, maybe setting an intention for today's class. Breathe in and breathe out. And from here, slowly finish your exhalation. And then as you inhale, open your eyes. Just bring your fingertips onto your shoulders and start to move the elbows in a big circular movement. So rotating the shoulders back, keeping your seated pose, lengthening through the spine, lifting the chest and then from here opposite the rotation move forward breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out and then from here release and then place the palms behind your back, fingertips pointed forward, and then just rotate the shoulders back, lift the chest, breathe in. And exhale, release, relax, rounding through the back. Inhale, lift up, shoulders back, shoulder blades a little bit closer in towards the spine. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift up exhale release you can stay here in this same position maybe lifting your hips on your in breath and exhaling release or you place your feet forward and come up to this reversed tabletop palms under your shoulders feet under your knees and then breathe in to lift up as you exhale release hips are still hovered from the mat inhale lift up Exhale, release almost all the way down. Three more. Inhale to lift. Exhale, release. Two more. Inhale for lift. Release. Last round. Inhale. Stay here for one more breath. Breathing in through your nose. And exhale through your nose. And then cross your ankles, come to your tabletop, all fours, and then start to rotate the shoulders back. So we're moving the shoulders back in a circular movement. And then at the same time, the chest is moving up and down with your circles. So this is a great practice. To start to feel your shoulder blades moving. And then opposite the rotation, go forward. A few more. And then just come to stillness, sit back on your heels, relax. Breathing in. And as you breathe out, come back to tabletop. Inhale, lift your right arm straight up. Exhale, slide it through under over to the left. Release your right shoulder down, head down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, sliding to the left, releasing. Inhale, lift up. 
exhale to the left and then stay here keep on rooting the left palm down maybe stepping back with your left foot tucking the toes and if you find the balance here you might even lift that left leg breathe in breathe out and exhale release knee down come back to center and then go over to the left side inhale left arm lifts up exhale slide under through to the right lower to your shoulder and head down inhale lift up exhale sliding inhale lift up release go down let's do one more this time breathe in lift up exhale move over to the right releasing your head down keep that right palm down maybe stepping back with your right foot and if you find the balance here lift that right leg breathe in breathe out breathe in and release and come back to your tabletop all right a few cat and cows so move the chest forward look forward on your in-breath exhale rounding through the back look to your navel inhale forward exhale rounding inhale move forward exhale round last round coming forward and then round the upper back and then come to neutral pose all right so tuck your toes under and press back to your downward facing dog breathe in breathe out and then from here step your right foot forward bend through that right knee and keep that left leg straight pushing the heel back high lunge crescent pose inhale arms are lifted and then breathe out cactus your arms so bend through the elbows out to the sides and then to create these circles moving backwards and then opposite the rotation moving forward breathe in breathe out and release palms down step back down dog stay here for three breaths keeping your arms as straight as possible maybe even your legs straight aiming for the heels to come down last breath and when you're ready step forward left foot forward crescent high lunge lifting the arms same thing here bending the elbows out to the sides and then circles back with your shoulders and go forward few more deep breaths here and then as you exhale start to release the palms and step back to your down dog breathing in breathe out just walk your feet one step forward in your down dog and then reach the right arm to catch to the lower left leg and then twist and open towards that left side breathe in breathe out breathe in exhale release over to the other side left palm to the lower right leg twist and open towards the right breathe in breathe out inhale and exhale release step forward with your left foot and then turn to face the long side of your mat 
bring your fingertips under your shoulders and then just walk the left fingertips a little bit closer towards the center reach the right arm up breathe in breathe out twist and open one more deep breath release go down other side left arm lifts up breathe in breathe out and release and then continue to walk your palms all the way over to the right see if you can catch and hold around that right lower leg or right foot breathe in and breathe out and then over to the left last breath and then as you release walk the feet closer toes are turned out lower your hips to your malasana and then open up the right arm and see if you can stretch the left arm over to the left keeping this long line all the way from your left fingertips to the right and release over to the other side same thing here and release all right Come forward on your mat, step back to your down dog, and then as you look forward, step forward with your right foot, twist and open, right arm up, breathe in, and then back strokes from here. So the whole arm is moving in a circular movement, and then opposite the rotation, four times forward two three and four and then from here lower the back heel down come to your parashvakonasana lifting the left arm up breathe in breathe out stay here for two more deep breaths and release back to your dog and breathe other side left foot steps forward come to your twist and then start with your back strokes four times one two three four and reverse go forward for one for two and one last round place the left palm down release the right heel down and move into your Parshvakonasana lifting the right arm keeping the back leg strong left knee is bent breathing in breathing out one more deep breath and release the palm back to your down dog and then directly release your knees down sit back onto your heels and then just warm up your wrists a little bit so just move the wrists and then opposite the rotation And from here, just shake out and roll your shoulders back. All right, so right arm over the left one, bend your elbows and then see if you can catch your palm or around your right thumb. Breathing in, lift up. As you exhale, start to round through the back and then Move the upper body forward, tap your elbows to your knees or all the way down to your mat. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, tapping down. 
two more rounds. Inhale, lift up. And on your way up, engage through the core. Last round. Tapping down and lifting back to center. Release, shake out your arms, shoulders back, and then left arm over the right one, bending the elbows, and then catching the palm or your thumb. Inhale, reach up four times. Exhale, go down and tap. Inhale, lift and reach. Exhale, move forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, tapping forward and down. Last round. Breathe in. And exhale, release. And then from here, just shake out your arms, shoulders back, and then see if you can sit down onto your bum. And then keep the left leg straight this time. Right knee is bent, keeping the heel close towards your sitting bone. And then we're just going to reach the right arm forward from the inside of our right leg. And then we're gonna turn the palm to face out to the right. So we have this internal rotation in our shoulder. And then we're gonna reach around the right leg and maybe reaching around the back with your left arm. And perhaps you'll be able to catch your fingers and stay here. If you need to bend through that left leg, go ahead. Let's see if you can find the bind here around your right leg, keeping the chest moving forward. Both shoulders are internally rotated. And maybe from here, lift the heel, maybe even lift your foot and stay upright. Breathing in, and as you exhale, release right leg forward, bending through the left knee. Same thing here, reaching the left arm forward from the inside, and then turn the palm to face to the left. So we get this internal rotation of our shoulder, and then reach around, maybe even reach around with the right one, and perhaps Catching the fingers, grabbing a hold of the hands, and then keep on lifting through the chest. Keep your right toes flexed, right leg is active. Breathe in, breathe out. And then when you're ready, start to lift that left heel, and then maybe even your toes. Keep the whole foot lifted. Breathe in and breathe out. Release and then cross your ankles. Come forward with your palms. Step back to your down dog. Directly lift your heels. Bend through the knees. Inhale, step up. Halfway lift on your in breath. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, directly fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or hop to plank. Lower to your knees. Lower all the way down to your belly. Point your back, shoulders back. Bhujangasana, cobra lift up. Exhale, release, tucking the toes. And then press back to your down dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. And then from here, inhale, step the right foot forward, release the left heel down, point the toes out 45 degrees, and then start to bend through that right knee, come to your warrior one, breathing in. As you breathe out, release the arms behind your back, interlace your fingers, knuckles pointed down, and then lift through the chest, exhale, humble warrior, 
releasing the upper body to the inside of our right leg, forehead down, lifting the arms, knuckles are pointed straight up towards the ceiling or sky, keeping the back leg strong, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out, release, lift all the way up, lift your arms, lift the back heel, come to your crescent, your high lunge. One deep breath here. And as you exhale, come to your twist. So left elbow to the outside of your right knee and then press your palms together. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and release your gaze, palms down, step back to your dog. And then let's move over to the other side, stepping the left foot forward, releasing the right heel down, lift up, bend through that left knee, come to your warrior one, lift your arms, breathe in and breathe out release your arms interlace your fingers and palms and then reaching the shoulders back lowering the shoulder blades down the back breathing in chest is lifted exhale humble warrior release into the inside and then lifting the arms keeping the back leg strong back foot sealed breathe in Breathe out, breathe in and release, lift all the way back up, lifting the back heel, one breath in your crescent, high lunge, take a deep breath here and as you exhale, come to your twist, right elbow to the outer left knee, pushing the palms together, Keeping the back leg strong, heel back. Breathe in. Breathe out. And exhale, release the palms. And go back to your down dog. One deep breath here. Exhale, releasing the knees wide apart. Sit back to your heels. And then move the arms behind your back. See if you can interlace your fingers here and maybe lift the arms from your back. If not, then just stay in your balasana, your child's pose. One more deep breath. And release. And then from here, Start to slide your palms forward, releasing the forearms, a few strengthening exercises for our shoulders. So spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes, lift your hips, and then see if you can move the shoulders above your elbows, and then take a deep breath in. As you exhale, move even further forward over the elbows, and then press back. Go forward, press back. Three more rounds. Forward, press back. Two more. Go back. Last round. And go back. And from here, come back to your forearm plank. Keeping your thighs active. Engage your glutes. Lift the upper back. Keep your navel lifted in towards the spine and then just move back and forth. Four more rounds. One, two, three, and four. Release your hips, point your toes, and land in your sphinx pose. So we're keeping our forearms down, shoulders are rolled back. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Slide your palms back. Lift up to your Bhujangasana Cobra. Exhale, release, tucking the toes. 
pressing back, downward facing dog, and then step forward with your right foot, releasing the left knee down, breathe in, lift your arms, and exhale, interlace your fingers. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and exhale, release, lifting the arms, palms to the inside of your foot, tuck the back toes under, and then release the heel, lift up to your Parshva Konasana. Maybe some of you will do the bind here. So right arm under your thigh, and then left arm behind your back and reaching to catch your palms. Keep on lifting through the chest. And exhale, release. Step back to your down dog. And then step forward, releasing the right knee this time. Lifting the arms, breathing in. And as you exhale, interlace behind your back, lifting up through your chest. And then palms to the inside, go to your Parshva Konasana. Perfectly fine to stay here. If you're going to, for the bind, go ahead, left arm under, right arm around the back, and then keep on lifting through the chest. Keeping the back leg strong, breathe here. Two breaths. And exhale, look down, release, step back to your plank pose, and then lower all the way down to your belly. All right, so we have a pretty nice shoulder stretch to finish the practice with. So right arm reaches out in shoulder height, and then we're gonna step over with the left foot, and then lean your weight all the way over to the right, and then stay. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keeping your breath soft. Start to cool down your breath, your body, your mind. And as you release, come back to center. And then left arm out to the left in shoulder height. And then stepping behind over to the right or over to the left with the right, crossing over the left leg. And then stay. Breathe in. And breathe out. Maybe closing your eyes. And as you exhale, start to release back to your belly, pressing the palms, lifting back up, and let's meet in our seated pose. All right, crossing your ankles, find your sitting bones, and then start to lengthen through the spine, lift the chest, shoulders back, palms down. Take a few deep breaths here before we finish the practice. Notice the difference in your body now versus 30 minutes ago. And as you finish your exhalation, inhale to Palms together, exhale in front of your chest. Let's breathe in for an om together. Oh. Namaste. 
Thank you so much for joining today's class. A few nice stretches for our shoulders and a few strengthening exercises. Um, all right. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel. New classes every Wednesday and Sunday. So until next time, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Namaste.